But let's go ahead. Yo, thank you so much for the likes and the love. We really, really appreciate that. I'm so happy to be back, guys. I am so happy to be doing this for you guys. It just means the world to me. And uh, it's just, let's have some fun. I think that we're all ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and switch it over. And let's get straight to it. I'm going to go ahead and lower this down just a little bit more. And uh, players got their headphones in. And I'm going to start doing some commentary. So I want you guys, as players are playing, guys, I want you guys to get involved. I want you guys to comment what you think the play should be made. I want you to comment what you think is going to happen. I just want you guys to be very, very interactive along with me, along this journey as we're watching these two players play decks that are actually very viable in the format. So the first deck that we see is Eric. He's actually using Yellow Brawly. He's actually going to be playing a Hide and Mastery version for you guys. Um, and then we have Johnny using the Janemba, which is obviously um, very popular again. Uh, I love Janemba. I won with it, uh, the Orlando Celebration. Extremely fun deck. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give my predictions on this matchup. Honestly, if Eric is using the Victory Strike mat, if Eric is using Victory Strike, um, then chances are, you know, Johnny might have something in his hands. You know, he might have a little issue in his hands if, he, if Eric is, in fact, using the Victory Strike version of the deck because Janemba... Um, if it's unable to awaken adequately, it can lose on turn four to Victory Strike. And unfortunately, you know, Janemba's Negate can't uh, stop Victory Strike. You would need a Mafuba. Um, but Yellow obviously plays cards like Bad Rings. Now, on the hind side, this deck um, is going to be able to draw a lot of cards, which is also going to be to Eric's advantage, but also to his weakness. Because as Eric uh, is going to be drawing cards, what's going to happen is, is that he's basically going to be dealing with... Um, you know, Janemba moving closer and closer to uh, the state of, you know, victory, so to speak, if that makes any sense to you guys. So basically, as, as Eric draws cards, you know, he, it makes him closer, that closer to his victory strike. If he doesn't open with victory strike or it's not in life, then Eric's playing a different type of game. And, um, you know, so he can mill it out. You know, one card that you draw, the more you draw, the closer you are to losing to Janemba. But not only that, the closer you are to good cards <laughs> that will ultimately be used, to, that'll, that'll be milled from Janemba going into drop. So we're going, we see players' hands. Uh, hands are looking interesting. We have, um, we have, I believe, uh, players are mulling right now. I'm not sure who's going first. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so Eric went first. He goes ahead and drops his shin. And oh, actually, Johnny went first. Sorry about that. I'm bugging. <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong screen. I haven't done this in a few weeks, so, you know. So Eric goes ahead and taps his energy. And um, Eric is going to be dropping a Whis. Now, Whis is actually very important in this matchup. Uh, Whis just allows Eric to p play um, fundamentally more reckless um, than he would in a normal matchup because we, um, in this matchup, literally uh, the Janemba is not going to be effective. So the Gen Demon Sword Janemba is not going to be effective because most of the cards have barrier, right? These two cards have barrier. Eric's going to be drawing two more cards. We, uh, um, Reality Bender is not effective. And on top of that, Navi is Demon Sword. Um, and the reason why Reality Bender is not as effective is just because of the fact that Reality Bender is going to take four energy. So by that time, you know, Eric may be, if he catches what we think he's going to catch, he may be in a, in a position where he can actually get that. However, if Johnny can self-awaken, Johnny will also be in a very, very good spot, the Janemba player. So right now, um, these, these two cards actually are fantastic. Um, uh, Meister Xien and Roshi. And they're 6K, which means that a regular swing is not going to cut it. And then if you swing into them and you combo, they can just combo one card. They just don't die so easily, which is difficult. But again, they could serve to be a double-edged sword in Eric's case. Because if Eric draws lots of cards, but he's unable to get rid of, uh, if he's unable to do what his deck wants to do, which in this case would be Victory Strike, Janemba doesn't have a hard problem defending against cards like Hide and Mastery. Especially with Dimension Magic in the format that allows him to untap, and also stuff like Zeno Button. Um, he, he'll be in a very good spot. Mm. So Eric going ahead and dropping that Bloodlust on top of that Psyche Demon. Now, Psyche Demon is fantastic because he's able to constantly search out for the pieces. So knowing that you're going against Bloodlust, I honestly would have dropped the, um, the Fat Boy instead. 
so that you can bait out the bloodlust and I would just end my turn. What that would do is that now next turn, you can pay an energy for um, Fat Boy to go to the bottom of the deck, search out for your Janemba, then drop Psyche Demon for one energy, search the bottom, and then re-evolve him over. So against matchups where you know you're going to be playing against uh, Bloodlust, I just think that it was not that effective to swing out. You definitely make your Janemba vulnerable, and now you're going to have to obviously uh, drop cards in order to defend it. Um, in normal cases, that's not, that's not a bad Bloodlust because you do want Bloodlust. You want to get Bloodlust out the way. But again, we're seeing Eric draw a lot of cards. With just two cards on a build board, they start to amass massive advantage. And this is a big issue with these cards because a lot of players are unable to remove them from the field. You see Eric is using the card um, Sun Goten that allows him to basically turn that into more than a super combo for his yellow battle cards. So it's going to be difficult for Johnny to remove these cards, and they don't have barrier. Uh, I mean, and they do have barriers. Sorry about that. So, um, and then you're seeing stuff like Roshi and Eric's uh, energy area. He's able to defend adequately. Now, again, Eric is drawing a lot of cards, but if Johnny gets the luck of the draw and hits a uh, victory strike by any chance, then now this game is a much different game. Um, and that's the biggest thing, too, is that the best part of Janemba... And I think the most terrifying part of Janemba is that RNG. So not only if you pair a good player with Janemba, they'll do very well, but also Janemba has a 50-50, you're going to go minus, or I'm going to go, like, you're going to go minus. And so it's very difficult to deal with that, you know, because you just don't know what you're going to hit off the deck. So um, Eric's going ahead and dropping um, Shugash to bring and play his path to greatness, which means that chances are next turn, he's going to be able to, uh, to, to victory strike. And so the goal, in, in Eric's mind, the goal is basically draw before mill. So the idea is that a lot of times, we've seen a lot of other players um, talk about live videos, um, and they say, you know, cards that draw extra cards, you don't want to play them. Well, in this case, you do want to play them because of the fact that, um, obviously, Janemba's going to do what it does no matter what you do. Um, so... You want to be able to draw. The goal is draw as much cards as possible, um, you know, before Janemba really gets to kick his mil big mill game off. And that big mill game is around turn four. So draw as many cards as possible and hit that victory strike. Because once you hit the victory strike, chances of your opponent beating you is extremely low, almost impossible. And we've seen him set up the Whis now um, on board, which is going to suppress his, his agent of destruction, Janemba, which is the strongest in this matchup because it doesn't require you to attack. It doesn't require you to do anything. It untaps, leaves you safe, and draws a card and mills three. So with him moving so fast, you know, Janemba's just going to be, that's the optimal Janemba. Reality Ben does not really live in this matchup very early, and uh, Demon Sword is just no-go, no, no go, right? You can't really remove cards from the board, and for two mil, that's not good enough. Not against a deck that's trying to beat you turn four. Um, so, again, that is honestly the biggest facet that we're seeing right now. Johnny's going ahead and... Uh, Oh, God, I am not doing life, guys. I'm so into the game that I'm not doing life. <laughs> okay, so let's go to... Um, Sukiyomi, what is up, Sukiyomi? What's up, man? We miss you, bro. You got to stop by or we got to head out somewhere. We got to... Uh, Hang out. It's good to hear from you. Uh, so Sukiyomi said, my money is on the homie Eric. He's the GOAT. Eric is actually the hitting GOAT. He's one of the hitting GOATs. Um, but Johnny's steadily making his way up the ranks. He's definitely doing much better than his tournament performance, much better than before. And uh, he's, he's definitely a contender now as well. But, yo, thank you for the love. We had 28 viewers. Thank you for the love, guys. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and like our page. It's going to help us out a lot. Um, let's go ahead and get back to it. Uh, I believe what Eric is at. How much life? The, the life is so placid. How much life, Eric? Uh, I'm at three. Three life. So Eric is at three life. Now, the, the, the idea, thank you guys for liking the video. And if you haven't liked the page, go ahead and give the page a like. One, two, three, four, five. Johnny's at five life, yes? 
perfect. Johnny's at five life. Um. Okay, guys. So now we got that over and done with. Okay, so Eric is doing the signature. Will we see victory strike? If we see victory strike, um, one thing that can save Johnny potentially is a dimension magic. He can dimension magic if he has the sparking cost and the situation which would allow him to not only untap two energy, but he would his super commas would be live. So what he would do is he would dimension magic if he had the drop zone. He would untap two energy, activate two super combos, awaken two more super combos, possibly be able to hit some numbers to defend against the victory strike. Um, especially because of the fact that, um, you know, uh, Eric decided to go to victory strike on turn four, basically John is in a spot where, um, you know, he doesn't necessarily have to expect, you know, real, he doesn't have to expect Eric to restand the victory strike, you know, uh, and that's very, very important. You know, if a player that can restand the victory strike, it's almost impossible to defeat. Um, and so we're seeing, so that's right now 45, that's, that's 55, 55, 60, that's 70, that's 80, that's 90, so far 90k, uh, 90k to an unawakened Janemba, I don't know if he can hit those numbers guys, um, again, running stuff like Awakening Talent Pan is extremely crucial in this format, um, still because Victory Strike is a card that will always be an option. Throughout every existing format, Victory Strike was always an option. Um, that's why it's always maintained its value, and that's why it's continued to go up. Um, so we got to sell. Now, if Johnny was awakened, I do believe that Johnny would be able to hit numbers. Um, not sure if he could hit. Yeah, so... Victory Strike, unfortunately, tapped him once, and the game is over. And that's a, that's a big issue. I hope that these matches are exemplary. I actually, you know, I, the, the issue is, is that um, Victory Strike, to me, is just too easy to get out. And I think that's the biggest thing. I think that, um, you know, being able to play a bomb that